This is Intermodal Trucker. My name is Larry. It is a perfectly sunny day out here. It's Saturday morning and I am going to be doing a deck build here. And as you guys know, I am at home. I'm off of work right now. I got my back is all buggered up. Uh, news on that is I went to the doctor and they actually um, got me going into rehab next week and they have to do rehab for a little few sessions and then I'm going to be doing an MRI. They, she thinks I've damaged uh, maybe a vertebrae in my back and get an MRI of that and go from there. So I'll pass it along that news when I come upon it. But right now I thought to bring you this. I had a subscriber, Brian, that had contacted me and met me and he made a volunteer himself to build a deck. So here I sit in my chair and I got my cup of coffee and hey, it's my JB Hunt cup, look at that. And Brian decided he wanted to have some fun and come build a deck. And here he is. Isn't that fun? Yes, Brian, is it fun? Hi, guys. No, it's not fun. <laughs> not so, fun. So there was other people that said, hey, oh, if I live closer to you, man, I'd come and help you in a heartbeat. Well, I think he's thinking the same thing, that maybe he should have not volunteered. <laughs> so you can see right here what's going on. Um, there's going to be right here where the strings are, these poles. That's going to be the outline of the deck. It's going to be kind of like an L shape. There's going to be a landing right here, and then over here it's going to be more of the deck area. And then I'm going to inlay some steps over in the corner here. So if people park over here, they can walk right up the steps. And then I'm going to put a set of steps over here, too, that's going to be on this concrete. Um, I'll take you guys, show you guys inside. We got it pretty much done. Just got some final cleaning up. But she's all taken care of and everything. Everything's all painted. Um, we had a company come on here and steam clean the carpets. And there's still a stain on it from where they had their carpet, where they had their uh, sofa and stuff. But it's real light and we figure there, it's such a small room. There's going to be sofas and everything put on there. You're not going to notice that. So we're going to leave it for now. We're making that decision. But that's where we are with this. But this is all cleaned up. All these carpets are all cleaned. Got these windows all installed in here, all trimmed out. This room's been all painted up. Got that window installed in there, in the bathroom here. That's all trimmed up. This room's been all painted, all ready to go. We got fans running in here, drying all this carpet off from the carpet cleaner guy. And then here's all these windows back here that I installed. And this room's been all painted and those windows are all trimmed up. And then down in the basement. We have this all painted too. My brother kind of got over ambitious and he came in and painted the upstairs and he looked around and he said, ah, let's paint the basement too. So we painted all the walls and everything in the basement and got this all cleaned up and everything. And I just turned the water back on in here because I shut it off when the people moved out. But I just got the water turned back on. It's got everything all painted up in here. Uh, this wood stove is actually going to go. My parents, we've been talking about it and they have made a decision. Um, we think that the wood, it damages people carrying all the wood down here. It damages the steps and the walls and the floor. And some people just don't know how to burn wood. Uh, 
Um, they don't know how to control the, the, the furnace and everything and make it you know work right. And there's a lot, sometimes there's smoke upstairs and that's why we always gotta end up paying it. So my parents have made a decision, we're gonna pull the chimney out, or we're gonna actually pull this uh, stove out of here. We're not gonna pull it out of here actually. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put it on a hand cart and just stick it in the back room there and just store it back there. Maybe someday somebody will put it back in, but we have no reason for taking it out, so we'll just leave it in here. We ended up putting all this bark in here. Got this all cleaned up and put all new bark in here to make this a little bit better out here. And we ended up putting it all the way around the side over here. And I got it almost all the way down. We're just going to go get a few more bags to finish this off in the front here. And then that'll be done. You can see that we got the, I got the windows all trimmed out on the outside too and everything. Everything's all sealed up. And it's all ready to go. So me and Brian are going to put this deck together here. Um, my basic goal today is to try to get this deck framed. If I can get it framed in, that would be pretty good. And uh, I have another brother that's coming out tomorrow. He's got to have some time tomorrow and he's going to come out and help me finish whatever I don't get done. Well, holy cats, I should have just left the camera going. Brian's been plugging away on these holes. He's got all these holes dug in them. Oh, man, he's just working hard. He's on the lasso. Slave I could, I, labor by Larry. Slave labor by Larry. Yeah, I'm going to start my own uh, country up here in slave labor here. Um, I should have just left the camera roll. I didn't even, it would have probably took him 10 minutes maybe to do all these holes. He's just like the fastest hole digger I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> We're going to start laying all the rafters along the basement over here and put the frame out here and then we can start piecing it all together and it'll go all together real quick. One. Hey guys, this is day number two. Um, I thought I would just show you guys what's going on with this deck. Uh, Brian came out yesterday, one of my subs came out here and actually helped me. Um, wasn't expecting as much help as he came which I was so much appreciative for because I couldn't have done it without him. Um, he did all the hard manual stuff and lifting and he dug all the holes for me and it was much appreciated. Um, we didn't get as much done as we wanted to. Uh, main reason why is because I kind of boogered up <clears throat> and I kind of made up some drawings of this deck. And I ended up, um, I put down on my sheet that I needed two 16 foot two by sixes and some reason I didn't get them. So those were the two first boards that we needed and so we had to run into Fond du Lac to Menards, buy those two boards and we came all the way back out here, we pulled them out of the 16 foot bin, didn't actually measure them and we drove all the way back out here and unloaded them and started measuring to cut them and they were 14 footers. So then we had to drive back into town, <laughs> exchange them, that was a big ordeal. <clears throat> and. Um, and then we um, got the right ones and got back out here. It was like fought three hours uh, that we lost yesterday of just riding the town back and forth. And we finally did get out here. And I was in such a hurry that I just didn't have time to, because um, I knew that he needed to get two things and get stuff done at his place. And um, he had something going on, so I kind of had limited time. But he spent all day out here. And... Um, and some into almost dark so his help was very much appreciated but we got this uh pretty much set up he's got all the hard work done <clears throat> and uh, we got the whole frame here all set up and we got it all anchored to the walls and mix that up and pour that in each hole so all the all the poles are concreted in they're set where it needs to go it was going to be the first hole was going to be right here in the corner and this is where the steps were going to be inlaid to go up and there's going to be a post that's here for a handrail but I started looking at it and I thought maybe the steps are just a little too narrow. I made them three feet wide and I started looking at it and went ah and so we moved it over and the steps I got to cut these boards and move that one over. It's good. The steps are going to be four feet wide. It's just going to be a three foot high railing that goes all the way around this and I'll cut these off to the height. <clears throat> I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to go the height of the deck when I was buying the material so I just bought extra ones. They were like $1.50. I was going to get 8 footers but I ended up, I said, oh, give me the 10 footers or like a buck fifty a pole and I figured if they're uh, too long I can always cut them off but if they're too short 
Well, then I'd have to run back to so town. So now, basically, um, I gotta move that over to where it needs to be. Square that up, get that all ready. And then um, I got to hang all the joists hangers on the headers and everything going around here and get ready for that and start making my measurements and cutting all the joists that go in there. Um, my brother, my eldest brother, he's the one that actually painted all this. He said that he would get some time today to run out here. Um, Brian, he kind of offered to do it, but um, he had something else going on. I We had talked about things and he had things to do. so. So I, I told him, you know, if you can make it, you can make it, but I understand you got things that you want to do. You can't be uh, out here working for me all the time for free. So um, my brother is going to show up and he's going to do all the heavy lifting for me and everything. Uh, won't be recording that one. Uh, my brother is very camera shy. He does not want to be on a camera. Um, he is kind of a high up person, I will say, in kind of in state business type stuff and he will not go on video on any social media he every time that we video stuff he's like get me out of that picture um, for right now I can't actually do the joist hangers um, I'm just kind of limited on what I can do but, uh, you know stretching bending walking around that's what she wants me to do to try to loosen all this up but I'm limited to lifting 10 pounds so <clears throat> So that's, that's not a big deal. The little joist hangers, they maybe weigh, I don't know, eight ounces or so. So I think that's within my limits. So I'll probably start hanging all the joist hangers and get that all ready for my brother when he comes. And then we'll throw all the joists in and um, maybe uh, lay a little bit of decking across here. We'll see. We'll see how it works out today. Now this one is going to end up right in the center of a post, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to line up, but not a, we should be able to get her. What I did is I drew a line all the way from this top of this rafter over. I followed it around to four by four and drew a line on this side to give me my height so that I could set that rafter in there. And I set her down in there and she lines right up with the lines. So that would be my height to match everything else. And then see these, these hangers, they have like little screw holes at an angle. So once you measure the rafter, you cut it, pound it down into place. Then you just take some screws and go through the rafter and it'll go into the other rafter or the 4x4. That's how they get so so that it has supports going in through the to the hangers and then it has a screw going through this rafter into the header or whatever to hold on to it. 
so it's kind of like a little double support. You can just shoot screws from the outside and do that. Um, main reason why we don't do that is so that you, the screw heads aren't sitting outside and then later on and years from now or whatever rain's going down it, the screw heads will actually rust and they'll show up little rust lines going down the side of the deck. So you kind of want to have all the screws hidden inside the deck so that you don't see the, those little rust lines on the wood. Makes the appearance a little better. Hey guys, here we are, day three of this deck build. Um, it's a little slow going. It's a little hard for me to rely upon other people. Um, I really can't lift boards or nothing like that. They got me on this 10 pound restriction, so pretty limited to what I can do. Um, my brother came out yesterday and he helped me with this and we got quite a bit done. We got all the, the rafters and everything all put in place. And I basically was, the, he's not a very carpenter type person. And so they, they usually call me. My, I do have one brother who is a construction worker, but he was a smart one and he moved far away. So, so whenever they need something done, they kind of call me, they don't call him. But um, um, he came out and basically he just kind of lifted boards and carried stuff around for me. And, and I did all the measuring and, and um, he'd put it up on the saw for me and I'd cut them and then he'd take them and put them in place and I'd go measure the next board. And he put the next one on, we kind of had a little system going. Got through, um, got through all of it and um, got them all, play, all cut and everything and then uh, my back was pretty sore. So I decided to go in and lay down and sit on some ice for a second and he said he was going to keep working and i came out and he kind of buggered it up a little bit but that's all right life goes on but we got um screws like this here you see those screw heads on there well what's going to happen over time is that they're special screws or deck screws so they're not supposed to do it but they always do and the rain and the weather is going to get into those little screw heads you know and around that wood and it's gonna like discolor. It's gonna make like little run marks wherever those screws are. Well, he's never used rafters before, or uh, ra uh, rafter hangers like that, the hangers. So he always just shot screws in from the end. They were supposed to be toenailed in through the hangers inside, so you wouldn't see those screws. But that's okay. It's it's an you know it's just a trailer. But um, I came out and I got those steps built and got those all cut and laid into place and everything and they're all good to go there's going to be a pole right here on the end of the step and then it'll be a pole at the top and it'll be a railing going around here and then railing coming down like a little handrail to help walking up the stairs that has to be done yet and he's going to be here after work tonight so i'm just trying to do some putzing around and everything the steps last night and um that wasn't too bad it wasn't too strenuous so I've been kind of putzing with stuff today and putting block here, block there, kind of getting ready for him. And um, I got to still block in between all the rafters over there up against that wall because that that last beam is on the concrete wall and the siding protrudes, protrudes out a little bit too much. So, so the decking won't have anything to sit on so there could be flex in the decking over there. So I'm going to put a two by six tied into each one of those rafters all across even with the wall. So there's some for the support of the decking. But I just got done cutting my uh, my stair treads. And um, I thought I would show you guys how to do this. If you've never done stairs before, I thought I would um, kind of show you guys how to do this. One. All right, the easiest way to do this is to cut a board. And what I've done is I've measured over five inches. And I put a mark here. And I measured over five inches from where the deck starts over here, put a mark there. I measured in between the marks and then what I did is I subtracted one and a half inches because these are one and a half inch boards. I took half of that, which is gonna be three quarter, half of this one, so that's one and a half. So I took that mark to mark, mark I, measured, I subtracted an inch and a half, and I cut this here two by six. And then all you do is just line this up on here And you can just put a clamp on it or whatever. It's not going to be exactly where I need it right now. I'm just getting a, getting a start here. Just like that. And 
You line up your uh, first stair tread on here. Shoot a screw in the side here to the end. Have a level fall on your head. Shoot the next one in. There we go. Now this one over here, I'm gonna have to move it because I can't get my gun in. So we'll just slide her down here a ways. Move my clamps. And the same thing, just shoot a screw in on the end of this one into this board. We can remove our clamp. I think we'll put these back up here. And just kind of, it's not a perfection thing. You don't have to get it exactly. I'm just, you know, five inches, somewhere around in there. Get it lined back up close. So it should be right about there. And then I take my pencil and transfer the mark onto the into that beam that I built. Then on the middle one, the middle riser, what I did is on this end over here where it sits up against here, I trimmed off an inch and a half of wood off of here. So that'll be taken up for there. And oh yeah. Yeah, uh, excuse my grunting. And all I do is just line it right up. Just like that. Put another one in there. Make sure she's straight. There we go. Now we have our stair assembly built. Back up. In the center. Get it nice and level with this here. Put our clamps back on there to hold it where we want to. And I gotta switch over my bit. And I love torque bits. I think they're the greatest invention. Um, I and Phillips, Phillips head screws and square head screws, I have completely given up on them. I started using these torque bits. Oh. I'll bring it in here and show you. These little torque bits in my impact screw gun. And they put these screws. I've actually, they have these these leg screws like this. Or they're like a quarter inch and they sell them like eight inches long. And you can really crank these things in. This gun rams them right in. So I use all my decking screws and all, every basically screw I use, like a drywall screw or anything, I always use the torque bits. And they have different sizes, this is the size for these. And these are green treated so they won't rust. They say so at least. 
and all I'm going to do is just shoot one in here. And that's just going to suck it right in there. Just like that. Take my clamps off. And there you go, there's your steps. This one here, I can see is a little wobbly. It's pretty close, it might come down. I'm gonna put a deck board on there and see how it comes out. But they're there. So now we're going to, I'm gonna go get some deck boards and um, cut some deck boarding to go across here on the steps. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, put these uh, steps down here. And this, um, and I can also do a little blocking over there. That's pretty lightweight wood, that's just, you know, a couple pounds piece, but um, try not to overdo it here. These boards here, these deck boards actually came from my brother's, let me get this right, my brother's, um, what do you call him? Son-in-law <laughs> and his daughter. Um, they bought a new house and it had a big deck, I guess, around the house. It had a swimming pool and they have three little kids. So they didn't want the swimming pool to be out there because their children were real small. And plus there's a lot of money maintaining the swimming pool and everything. So they tore the, it was, they tore the pool out and it was kind of goofy. It had a big hole in the middle of this deck. So they tore the whole deck out and they ended up, they brought it out here and we actually have been using this stuff for years out here. Probably about the last five, six years building different tree stands and stuff because it's all a good tree to wood. But the problem is, is that this stuff has been old and my saw actually barely cuts through this stuff. It's almost like ironwood. It's really hard stuff. So the first one I'm gonna do is the top one here. And all I'm gonna do is line it up with my rafter there. Cause that's where my decking is gonna end up there. And then I line it up with the end there. I can just move it. And I actually have to drill pilot holes in it cause I'm afraid it's, cause it's so, such hard wood, I'm afraid it's gonna split. So I just been dry, drilling some pilot holes. And just I'll shoot one screw in. Then line up the other end. 